Hello everyone and welcome for the new uh, for this new live stream today. I hope you are doing well. And uh, hi Felipe on YouTube. Thank you so much for being here. Um, so uh, I hope you are not too disappointed uh, with the new DLC um, of The Sims. Like the Wedding Stories uh, DLC is kind of um, catastrophe. Um, I can't believe they actually released something that is that um, buggy. It's like if if there is a few bugs, yeah, we we kind of got used to it now. But hi, sorry, Kai Sima, thank you for the follow and welcome in. And hello, Rustic Gamer, thank you for being here today. I hope you're doing good. So yeah, we 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 are kind of used now to have video games that are not finished when they are released. This is really something that I didn't uh, know when I was little because. Um, when I was playing video games, we had a floppy disk and then we had CD. So when the game released, there were no way they could update it. So it had to be perfect. And they actually hired some beta testers. So people were paid to play the game and, you know, test it. So everything went fine. And I never encountered uh, any bug when I was uh, younger, although the games were obviously much simpler back then. Hi, Elena. Thank you. Hi, Siv. Huge fan of your CC. I'm so happy to be able to finally, finally catch a stream. Thank you. Thank you so much and welcome. Um, so yeah, obviously the game, the video games uh, today are way more complicated than uh, the one we used to play before. But I feel that since we have internet and since they have now, uh, now a way to fix it later, they kind of don't care. And I think it's also come from the fact that uh, the projects are bigger and bigger and they have like due date that are impossible to follow. So um, I'm pretty sure the investors are like rushing them to um, get the game out even if it's not and and you know oh you fix it later but then you can't fix all the bugs because you still need to create some more content so people can still continue to buy it hello stephanie good evening um so i was kind of sad because i i had so much high expectation for this um, um dlc Firstly, because um, I thought the weddings um, from base game was kind of boring and, and not really working as it was. So I was like, yeah, improvement. And now not only they didn't improve anything and they also break uh, the base game. And, you know, they, they had one job. You know, the, this pack was supposed to add the gameplay to the weddings and it's it just don't works at all. So I bought the um, I bought the DSC to be able to actually make some new CC for uh, my new winning set. You know, like oh, I'm gonna include some new gameplay stuff in my new set. But I changed my mind, or at least in the part one. So the one I'm going to release tomorrow is um, just the, the first part um, because I don't want you to wait too long. Because that probably be something around 60 item. Uh, so I didn't want you know to to wait for a full month before uh, being able to play with it. So I cut it in half, and tomorrow is the re release of part one, and next week will be the release of part two. And I have the dilemma with uh, the cake because I had a choice between making a wedding cake, meaning uh, a a cake from winning stories but then only the people with the dlc would be able to use it uh, but they were supposed to have some new addition to it like first they have new toppers that you can choose so they have a huge choice of toppers and also you had interaction like cut the cake together and stuff like that but it doesn't work so i decided to make my cake base game so at least everyone can use it and you know everyone can use it because new interactions Ah, uh, doesn't work. So, um, 
now that being said, I'm going to show you um, my new set. I'm, I'm really excited. I really like it. Uh, and then we are going to decide what we are going to do next. So my next set is, uh, will be the part two of the, the wedding set. I have a list of stuff I want to do. So I'm going to propose like a, a few options and then we are going to decide. Hi, Maxis, Maxis, you were welcome in. Thank you so much for joining us. I was just saying how disappointed I was about the new DLC uh, not working and how high were my expectation. And, and I think the saddest thing is like I was talking about this um, with someone um, and she told me like, but are we surprised? And that make me really sad. It's like, there's not a game that actually came out without being, uh, oh, <laughs> hi, 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 Jessica. Hi, everyone, from tap that A. Thank you for rating me. <laughs> I actually made um, a shortcut for you. If I remember where. Well. Nope. Yay. See? You're famous. Um, so yeah, um, there is no a game, not one game that actually uh, came out and is not buggy and now we're not surprised anymore. And that makes me really sad. It's like we have no expectation at all anymore. Hi, Niz. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Uh, anyway, so on a good note, um, my, my new set, uh, it won't fix anything. It won't, I love you so much. Thank you, Spacey Muffin. Hi, 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 everyone. Welcome, everyone. Uh, so tap the day is uh, Jessica. Jessica is streaming on um, Twitch uh, every night. For, for me, it's night. I think for her, it's morning, actually. Um, and she's like super positive. She's um, really, um, I don't know, funny and always in a good mood. And I love her stories and she's decorating. Um, like um, so well the interior so uh, if you're looking for a twitch channel with uh, like game page, uh, watch she's one of the best I think one of my favorite oh, hi thank you Perry and thank you for the hair uh, I kind of um, did that uh, for nothing because I was supposed to go training but my CrossFit gym is actually on fire so that was a kind of very, very scary news. But fortunately, uh, the like the, the yeah, the building, it's, it's like a factory, it's a huge factory building. And like the like the, the people next to the gym, uh, they like selling some products and it, this got on fire. So the, the fire people, the firemen, had a lot of trouble like putting it down but at least it didn't spread spread so my gym is okay they don't have any damage uh but all the area is not accessible so we couldn't go training tonight yeah everyone okay there is uh, no injury nothing it's just just material but yeah and and it was a very very scary and huge huge fire so not training today and not tra training tomorrow as well because they need to clean and, and they also need to uh, bring the, the specialist to be sure that the structure won't collapse because it's kind of huge factory. So just this area has burned, like my CrossFit gym is like just next to it. But yeah, that's, that's kind of like, oh, wow. And we moved a month ago. So that would be so bad luck if we actually had uh, to like, I don't know, lose everything. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you, Perry, again for your generosity. And 
Speaking of the gym, heading up, heading up to mine, have fun, everyone. I'll try to turn in once I'm doing cardio. Have fun. Um, and hi, G on YouTube. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much, everyone. Well, let's go. Let's, let's, let's start. Right? So, this is the new world. I actually really like it. It's probably the best thing about this um, um, this uh, DLC for now at least so yeah the the world is really nice the light is really nice and I built my wedding um, lot on this little island here it's kind of small it might be too small actually because um, like for now I have like a indoor and I have a like a arch area and I want to make a dense area and, and it might be a bit small. So maybe I move, but I think it's also nice to have a small area. It kind of make the wedding more um, uh, intimate. And I also think that what, what I've read is um, like the most, the smaller, the build the less buggy the wedding is like if if you have like a huge area this is where it actually uh, starts to bug um hi mama radio thank you uh, for your follow and welcome in so let's let's dip in the new world is a big reason why i want to get a new pack but i'm so never email uh, it may mess up my game i don't think it will mess up your game because it they, they're kind of already messing it with the updates so just just um, if you have an update then probably yes but if you already have update updated yeah probably it won't make any difference like the oh. it's too late <laughs> and oh hi jelly pancakes hello first time that i cut you on live stream i learned so much from your tutorial thank you very much for your showing off your skill thank you very much and welcome in you are very um welcome and i actually love uh, what you do um so yeah welcome uh yeah the new world is beautiful uh obviously kind of talks to me because it's very european so for 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 the first time we have a world like close to our uh, hometown i'm also half spanish so that that um that uh, world really speaks to me especially on the mediterranean uh, area so I just started. Um, when I will be finished with this set, I'll probably make it available to download uh, with uh, all the tray files and CC included with, uh, because I only use my CC, so it's, uh, it's all free. And uh, obviously we are missing a lot of item because, um, uh, well, this is only part one and I will make part two uh, on the upcoming days. It doesn't help that EA has silent, um, has been silent about all the glitches. Uh, yeah, and we kind of like guessing that all the Russian blah blah about LGBT community kind of bullshit. Probably just buying time to you know try to uh, fix the the game, but they, they didn't. So. Um, so yeah. Anyway. Right, so we have new chair. It's not on purpose, but it kind of like it kind of looks like the one from there. It's um, I started because they released the game, and I haven't watched the streamers, um, so I didn't know what kind of item they were um, making. So it's it's actually kind of close from their new new one not that close but kind of the same the same style of like folding stuff and also they have the same idea than me because obviously they copied and and not the other way around even if i did it like two days before they released the set so they probably like did it last minute just just to you know anyway we had the same idea um so I made one version with uh, the, the, the fabric and, and there is like another version without it. 
and you have a few option colors so you have like that can the, the the fabric is kind of always white or you have another alternative beige the whole the whole set is like really in the boho style so all the colors are like really earth style uh, with some green and pink and white and beige but that's it I, I didn't put any like bright red stuff like that I do have like everything is like black swatches so if you want to make like a gothic uh, wedding then go for it it's like everything is available in dark that you can have everything black uh, if you want so you you can make something pretty pretty dark if you want that could be kind of nice i think uh, this is stunning thank you um what did you say <laughs> Love you, the texture of the chair. Thank you so much. The table runner is so stunning. Thank you. Uh, so we have a new uh, new table. So I made like one tile, two tile, and three tile. So we can make like round, long table um, or short table. Then we have the round table. You know, because um, round table is also. Oops is also nice you know if you want your uh, guest to actually oops, know each other and and you know uh, have a, a good uh, trying to have a good uh, atmosphere okay do you see the tablecloth i had to sneak peek already and was all over it okay let's go for the tablecloth so tablecloth you have three options you have the table runner like this so you have many colors you know I, I can see that i still have some fix to do yeah i think this this one is not completely symmetrical let me write this down because i still need to beta test everything tomorrow morning so i need to table runner and the table they're not symmetrical There. So um, you have many uh, choices color. I think the white is my favorite, obviously. Uh, this one is nice, but you need to have like a different colors if you want to see it. Um, this looks absolutely amazing. I love that you have table closes as I'm always looking for them. You never find any. Yeah. Oh, thank you for the subscribe with Prime. Um, I love all the swatches, but I always love dark swatches the most. Thank you for including those. You're very welcome. And hi, Momadek, how are you doing? Um, so obviously I made uh, that one. And then for uh, two or three tile, you have a round like this. So the best look is like to superimpose them. I think it's like really good. It looks really good, kind of like this one. So you can use both. You can um uh, like create some stuff uh, but don't move too much because it kind of uh, clip that round table close is my favorite thank you and uh, also a round one for the round table so it's like your grandmother uh, table close but in a good way um and yeah, all, all the table clothes are available for um, like all size. So you have the three ones as well. So you kind of, you can play with it. With like superimposing on or If you have two, you can probably like um, make them slightly not on the same height. So it doesn't keep that much because I don't like it. This is really weird for the eye. Anyway, so next. I love the lacy table clothes. They're classy without looking like they came from grandma's house. <laughs> they do, but like the grandma, they had really good taste back then. Maybe. So then the next part, uh, and when does this one drop? Can't wait, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'm going to test everything because I, I saw so 
I have a slight symmetrical problem on this one. I also saw when I was doing my screenshot that I have a slightly um, some twig that are out of the frame that's not supposed to be. Hi Beth, thank you for the follow and welcome in. Uh, so I need to fix that. I think it's come from the fact that um, when I do windows for all three heights, I usually make the medium one and then I shrink them on short and I, um, what's the word, spread them, like um, widen them, uh, heighten them. I don't know, I don't know which word is like the right one, but like I make them taller for the tall one. Stretch, stretch, thank you. Uh, so I stretch them to um, make them taller uh, when it's possible because sometimes there is a pattern so you can't so but this one it was uh, okay and I think I kind of make them poking out I'm, I'm pretty sure the, the short one is fine um, I'm glad I'm not the only one that noticed much mistakes <laughs> while making scripture. Yeah, the fact is I don't really play that much. So I kind of force myself to like do some action with everything before uh, releasing something. So I'm sure everything's like working. So you can see that I've dressed her for the occasion. And then I usually like make her seat, make her like do some stuff to make sure that, um, you know, she doesn't like have her foot like inside uh, this. Um, so yeah, I was doing scripture and I saw that. So tomorrow morning, I also needed uh, Ravashin to update her cake box because uh, I have made a um, working functional edible cake and um, it's compatible with her cake box. Uh, so you don't have to bake it. You can just like buy it, which is so much nicer, especially during the wedding or birthday event where everyone's arrive and the caterer is not here and and then people are leaving and your kid or your bride doesn't uh, blow her candle and everything and and you know the event is ruined because you don't have any cake and so now you get the box and you click on the box and voila so yeah i'm going to show you the box so here the box so i just remeshed um, her box uh, i already did uh, did it for uh, my unicorn birthday uh, set so i made a wicker one it's completely not practical in real life because that would be kind of either one use or either like a hell to actually clean because um wicker is um, not water compatible so that's probably completely uh, like one shot decoration, but that's fine. Uh, obviously, it also not the right size for the uh, cake, but I didn't want to make this thing too big. And uh, thank you for the subscribe, Mama Letterario, uh, with your prime. That's uh, really nice. Thank you. Is there a tutorial um, somewhere on how to make an edible cake with ravishing cake box? No. Um, for two reasons. First. Um, Ravashins need to update her cake box in, able to, uh, in order to my cake to work with it. So it's like if, if all the CC creators um, was doing it, she would have to update it like kind of daily, but she could do it. I'm pretty sure she's okay to like welcome any people that makes um, recipe. Uh, she already updated it, uh, I think it was last week, because she added the wedding cakes to it. But she is going to, or she already did, I don't know, uh, tonight to add my cake too. Um, the second reason is that there is no tutorial about making edible cake. So there is one kind of tutorial on Sims 4 Studio Forum about how to make edible for, but Maybe I'm, I'm stupid, but I never could make it work. It's like I can't understand anything what I'm doing. It's way too complicated. It has too much information. There's no pictures. There's, it's, it's not like organized. And the word used is I can't. So I'm not um, a modus, like I can't code. 
So if I don't have click this, click there, I can't really make. Um, you can't make my Sparrow's test work. No, that's that's not allowed, Laura. Mm -mm. Um, why is that? How how do they not work? What what happens? Let me know. May maybe we can chat about this uh, on my Discord, and um, and we can fix it. I can't figure out how to line the tops up. Well, basically, I'm going to show you. Basically. It's actually pretty simple. You just create your room or not, because you don't have to. And and actually, the mold uh, from Ravishin is not Spira staircase; is uh, lift. So basically, you put um, any uh, bottom. So I am in middle and uh, medium wall. So I'm going to take the medium one. I think we need um, BB move objects like this. And then when you go up, you can see that this is coming through. So you just take the top in here and that's it. That's all you need to do. And it kind of works the same with uh, all the other one. So you can have like the medium one. You go on up and then you take the top and voila that's it and the only one that is a little bit different is that one because it's supposed to be like um, on the side of like uh, a wall or like um, um, uh, I don't know like a, a second floor so for this one you just put like this and then you need to use the invisible top stairs so you're just putting on the way um, seems are supposed like to um, get out and you can see that i made some little uh, white uh, like dot stuff so you can pick it up in case of uh, actually next time i'm going to do something different because uh, ravashin taught me how to use some shader that um, make something appears in build mode, but not in live mode. So then I can actually show um, like the end of the stairs in build mode, but then when you go in live mode, it kind of disappears. So that this I'm going to use next time. So let me know if it still doesn't work, Laura. And, and if not, we can fix it on Discord. My Discord is kind of um, there to help cases like that. Yes, exactly like her invisible lights. Um, right, so the cake box. How does it work? You go on live mode. You have your sims, you click on it. And I want a piece of cake bakery, please. So it's huge because the, the, the uh, wedding cakes are huge. Uh, you can click in here. There is my cake. Oh, there is also the unicorn cake. Oh, yeah, no, sorry. I didn't finish up by King Basie. Um, there is no really tutorial. Um, when I did my unicorn uh, cake, um, Ravashin made, uh, like, did the coding for me. And but for this one, I, I was like, no, I want to learn because I don't want like to rely on her every time I want to make edible food. So she tried to explain to me, and I think I got most of it. And then I tried for three days, and and then I made it work. So. Um, I need to redo it uh, maybe once or two to actually get the steps because I'm not sure I'm going to, um, I'm able right away to um, be able to redo it but I'm going to make some cupcakes uh, for the um, part two so that will be good training for me to like kind of review the whole process from from start and if it works then I will be able to make a tutorial about it but I'm still missing the part uh, of how to bake it. And from what I understood is that you need a script or something to actually inject it in your uh, fridge 
and an oven so that uh, it kind um, like add it with other recipe. So I'm not sure. I, I don't know how to do that part yet because um, ravishing mode is awesome and um, she's probably um, um, uh, she would probably agree if you contact her and, and ask her to um, add your cake uh, to you, to her mode. But I'm pretty sure um, I should also learn how to uh, properly make a recipe and you know uh, that people will be able to bake it because same I made the the sushi but it's only buyable and I think you can't really um, like cook it so she is an awesome creator and she's so nice as well so she's the best anyway cake so I click and now I have the cake and there you go my beautiful cake and um, let's try it let's take a piece so you can see that we can add um wedding cake topper which is like the base game one it's it doesn't have like the the new one so it needs to be on the center of the table so here let's add a but i won't do that because then i can't take a piece so just let's go and take a piece please take a piece she's very happy to eat her cake yay so you can see that it's all animated and I also make made um, the serving in here so she can eat her cake all right cool and oh um I also hope your practice works out well so you can one day make tutorial yeah yeah it was not easy but I think I, c I think I got it I think but yeah I'm, I, I took some notes. <laughs> so as usual, I use a lot of colors because uh, I have a very visual memory. She's a very pretty Sims. Yeah, I think it's kind of uh, awesome to see the, the pretty CC I've got from TSR. Uh, oh, thank you, uh, Osgot Selik, for your subscribe with Prime and for your second month, uh, which is a lot because I've been streaming for two months. So that means uh, you've been uh, right with me uh, from the beginning. So thank you very much for being here and supporting me. Anyway, so that's that's the nice thing about the cake and the cake box. What is um, do I have so yes obviously I kind of like already pass on it but all the windows and um, so you have uh, four tile closed four tile uh, half open and four times open so this one is the door this one is um, like actors like an arch so sims can go through it and don't tell me the confetti don't work is supposed to work. Maybe there's a S. Try, try. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, maybe try with a S, Laura. Um, glad I made back in time. Just got myself hot chocolate. Oh, you missed the cake. I think Max is much. Did you? Did you? Did you see the cake? <laughs> Yay! It works. <laughs> I I kind of uh, like tried to make it work last week and it didn't. So now now it works. So here's the cake. Um, here's the, the cake box uh, compatible with ravishing mode uh, where you can like um, uh, summon the cake. And then here's the cake. And you can see that it's like the, the little detail. All the pearls I actually made all individually in Blender. And it was like, I don't know, like 50,000 poly, it, even more. I think it was more at the end. It was like, hundreds of sphere and then i just baked the normal so the mesh is like is 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 like uh 1000 poly so that's that's how you do um like low poly without having like a uh, thousands and thousands of polycon which is useless and doesn't add anything to your item uh just as beautiful as you should on discord Two uh, four hours, four hours of texturing. It was insane. Uh, thank you, Kinsey, for your subscribes on YouTube. Everything is lovely. Lovely. Thank you. Um, 
So yeah, I, I, I made all the, the little sphere. Let me show you. You are not going to believe it. Basically, where's my cake? Cake, 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 wedding cake. Basically, uh, I think that's the one. I have like the high poly with like five hundred. It's 500,000, because it's all the spheres, all indiv individually meshed. Uh, and then there's a low poly one. So low poly one is only like uh, three, four rings. So this one is like under uh, 2,000 poly, which is usually my, wh what I try to reach uh, for uh, one tile stuff. So I baked this one, this one, to this one, and voila. And there you save your computer, and then you save the penguin, um, you know, because uh, less computer, less electricity, more, more life for the penguin. Baking the normal from a mesh that isn't actually imported, yeah. Looks great, thank you. And thank you for the follow, baby girl. And bed vibes. Sorry, I missed that. Uh, so here's the cake, and here's the cake box. And then I was showing off my windows. Um, so I was saying that I have like a four times closed, four times half open, four times open, which is the door. So seams can go through its arches. And then I made um, skylights. So you kind of, I have the, the curtains poking through. Um, so you can kind of create like um, a pergola or, or, or maybe like some um, palm um, temporary housing. Um, and I added some beam and I actually changed the shader to counter so they are tileable. So you can see that we will see a little bit of uh, texture at at the corner but it, you you won't have the clipping um i'm going to make a quick pause one minute because i'm going to kiss my boyfriend good night he's uh, getting up super early tomorrow morning i'll be back in one minute I'm back. I also took the blanket because I'm freezing. I have my like wolf blanket. Um, everything looks perfect. Thank you. Let me spread my blanket. Love the sailing like Actually, the sailing like is from my uh, Coraline set, like the the nursery set that I released uh, last week. How is Pee-wee? Good question. I think it's the how uh, where she's hunting, so she's probably out. Or maybe she sneaked. <laughs> she 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 liked to like sneak out um, to my um, uh, boyfriend's uh, bedroom, and then she hides under the bed. And once once he's like almost asleep, then he hears like, meow. <laughs> and we try not to sleep with her because. Um, She's really loud in the morning and she's hungry and she's like stepping off our head uh, very, very too early. So now we, we close the door and we let her sleep in the living room because, you know, it's too soon. Um, so yeah, so um, about the skylights, uh, you have uh, three ties. Is that new flooring? No, it's not. It's... Um, 
It's from the sauna set. Actually, the, the wall is uh, as well. It's like the same. Actually, the, um, the sorry for the bouncing up and down. Um, so the wall and floor are from my sauna set. And this one is from my Catherine set, so the sushi restaurant one. And this one is from my uh, advent calendar. It's animated. This one. Oh, so pretty. So one thing I like about all those windows and skylight is like the lights and shadow it projects. I think it's like make the ambience kind of unique. Um, so the skylights come in one tile and three tiles and one, one tile, I already said that, one, two, three tile. And I also made um, right and left so you can actually oppose them. So obviously you always need BB move object if you want to like put them close together. So you can make like arrow pattern or you can just make, no, not you. Or you can just uh, make them all, all on the uh, same side. But I thought it was more interesting to have like a kind of arrow pattern. And then you have the one, one tie if you want. So you can create some like graphic pattern if you want. There. So that's for uh, the windows and lights and skylights. Then we have obviously this that we made during the live stream uh, last week. So I didn't touch it. it was, uh, we did kind of a good job on it. And uh, I made some candles with a uh, custom tuning. So the candles has their own um, source of light. I understand what you say. I have two boot terrier and when they are in the room on Saturdays and Sundays, they're a bit noisy, but they know that if uh, we say, hey, you're going to leave the room, they return to the invitation mode here. Yeah. Mine is like, she's super, super cute and nice uh, at night because she knows that sometimes we kind of, uh, she, she's so cute that we say, okay, you can stay. So every now when we go to bed, she's like, and she's purring and she's like sticking to our uh, ankles and, and she's making like, you know, the, what I call the Chinese eyes. She's like looking at us like, so then I say, okay, you can stay. And then every morning we regret that. It's like, oh, I knew it. <laughs> and I'm, I'm usually fine. Uh, but the fact that my boyfriend sleep on his back, she likes to step on him. So usually he's the one that, you know, gets uh, waking up. Uh, right. So then I have the plants. Uh, so as usual, um, the Sims is not really good with rendering plants, especially when you have some um, alpha transparency. So that's the bit I could do. So there's that one with some... Um, Pampa grass and some peonies and roses and some dry, dry flower. And then you have that one uh, that is also kind of white flowers uh, with some hydrangea and some, I don't know what kind of flowers is this. Um, I don't know the name. Um, yeah, plants. Then we have the table, uh, one, one detail is that I added some slots, especially where the uh, people are supposed to eat. Because last time I didn't, and I don't know why actually, because I spent so much time making my preview pictures. And you know, let me show you. It was kind, I, I, I probably going to update it one day to add it because it's so annoying. I made some um, table, really nice table. I made some like tableware, but you can't place them. You can't place them where they're supposed to be. It's so annoying. So I did that on the new set. 
So on the new set, you have some slots, especially for where people are supposed to be. You know, so you, you still have to rotate them. And to have some beating objects, as usual. Oh, it was already on. Um, hey, Jonathan Rickmeyer, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Yeah, so much better. So much time saved. Okay, maybe, maybe not that one. Maybe I forgot that one. Okay, let me put it on my to do for tomorrow morning. Round table, check the slot. Yeah. Right, so, um, howdy from Canada. How are you? Um, I'm really good. How are you yourself? You felt tears in your eyes. Oh, you're too sweet. Thank you. Um, so here's the table set. I actually uh, took um, a real photography of uh, like a plate, um, like an Italian uh, plate. Uh, so it looks gorgeous. Um, it is. So you have it in beige, white, green, pink, and black, obviously. And hi, Jed, Jade. G Foster, welcome, thank you for the follow. I think the slots I found, there's just one in the way. You think? Maybe I, I didn't use the right one. Because mm. there's supposed to be a line with the... Oops, not you. With the, maybe that's the one that is not. No, I think this one is missing. I don't know. I'm gonna check. The play settings are beautiful. Thank you. I'm great. Thanks. Found out this morning I have just inherited my grandma's a manor home. Yes, manor home. Well, I'm really sorry for your grandmother and 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 congratulations on the manor. Um, right, what next? Uh, I think that, oh no, the, the masterpiece is the pickup chair. So this one is uh, probably higher poly than everything else. Uh, I really didn't want to, um, to like uh, compromise on that one. Uh, hi, Justrella on YouTube. Don't be sorry, she was uh, a miss your all back, my funny kind of cheer. She's not a good rules of her. Oh, I'm sorry about that. So I really didn't want to compromise because I, I no, it's not I kinda. I already made a pickup chair uh, when I started. It was actually one of my first item. Um, but this one is uh, very low poly because it needed to fit um, TSR um, guideline, uh, which at that time was even smaller than now. So we were only allowed, I think, 1,000 1, polygon for tile. So um, I draw that one all by hand. Um, I really like it. I was like, maybe one day I'm going to remake it high poly. Um, and meshed, not only, this is only, um, you know, plain and transparency. So I made that one. So I don't remember how much is it. It's not that high. I think it's like 7,000, which is which, which is big, but not completely high poly. It's just like higher poly than what I used to do. But I think it's worth it. And it's not like the kind of chair like you put everywhere anywhere. So in my um, configuration, it's like, you know, for the brides and, and and um, how do you say it? the bride and the uh, and the husband the are both brides groom the groom thank you yeah the bride and the groom so there you go uh, this is what i made uh, this week Ah, this I can't delete, so I guess they will have to stuff themselves. Uh, 
And what is next to come? So, on the part two of this uh, set. So I'm going to save and exit. And then we're going to choose what we are going to make during this session. And I'm going to show you what will be in my um, part two. And you are going to choose uh, what we make. Nope, so this is the previews. All right, so shares. Um, I want to make a set of shares because I always think that it's um, nice to have a place where, so that was my first inspiration, but I thought it was like a bit too rustic and I want to stay boho and not, not going in the rustic area. So I'm not thinking about something like, like like kind of like that like um, and i might actually make it like a functional bar so if you have like a um, um, mixologist i think that's the word it can work in here i don't know uh, hydrate thank you i did not yet um, I apologize if you said it already, but where are the kind of functional that you had on the table? Well, they are functional in the way that they have uh, animated um, lights, but they're not um, casting lights, I think. Because I'm not good enough at tuning, honestly. So I could use, I could like change the uh turn on and off but I, I don't know how to add lights like i i could have a light but it would be on all the time and i just saw peewee and and then she ran away by the way she seems busy so yeah so they 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 have like uh, animated candles that you can turn on and off but it doesn't um it doesn't um light the room so uh, these shelves, and uh, then I wanted to make um, maybe a cart. I don't have any reference for it yet, so maybe just a cart uh, that you can bring close to the to the um, like tables, or that could be uh, used as an end table. Let let me see the tutorial. I have some way for the candles. Thank you. Um, then, uh, one of my favorite ideas was to make a photo booth for guests to like take pictures. Um, I was also thinking of all the Instagrammers that have like poses and like to do uh, stories about their sims on their Instagram and Tumblr and everything. Uh, is there something wrong with your resolution? I see you blurred. Uh, is anyone else having a um, problem with my resolution? Not blur here. Um, I have the uh, optic antenna fiber now, so usually, supposedly, supposed to be fine now. So it's you, Elena. I'm sorry. Maybe you have like someone in your house downloading and making your con your connection slow. That happened so many times in my house before. It's like who's downloading? No blur, maybe check your resolution default. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, so a uh, photo booth space. Um, so I like this one, but I might change like the frame. I like the, no, I like the frame with the, maybe not the flowers because I'm not a huge fan of how the flower works in game. Um, so maybe I will attach them to like a, a screen or something. So I was thinking maybe oh, this one will be too high poly to make. So maybe more something like this, maybe. So I don't know, a, a mix between like an arch and some frame so people can uh, take pictures about, you know, I don't know. Took my sitting down because my lab keeps switching the Wi-Fi off. Uh, bummer. Um, also wanted to add a welcome sign, so I already made one on my first uh, wedding set. Um, 
I saw one, this one was like pretty, pretty cute, but again, it's, it might feel too rustic. I don't want to go in the rustic, like even like it's a boho theme, but I want to stay close to wicker, um, even a bit beachy, but uh, maybe I will look for another reference because this one looks a bit, a bit too uh, rustic now. Then an arch, obviously. So I was kind of waiting uh, for the new set before making my arch uh, because I wanted to see if they actually um, made uh, some like improvement of the arches, but they didn't. So it's basically just to decor arches and people get married in front of it. So did the heart-shaped arch make the cut? Well, that you could decide. So um, I probably keep my uh, heart shape uh, uh, that was the one so obviously without this because um, that would be too high poly and if I was doing it with uh, transparency that would be super crispy and I kind of um, can I say sulking no yeah I'm sulking about transparency and alpha doesn't look good like I spent so much so much time on my plant and the reason is like meh. meh do you still have the um, yeah this is uh, when I was making the texture of my plant this is how my plant looks in substance painter and uh, yeah in game it doesn't look good so sad so much work for nothing I uh, love that chair which chair is that the one with the heart shape, Mama Deck? Yeah. Well, I was thinking of like making it the arch. So this will be like the floor. And this will be the shape of the arch. Maybe some plant in here, but that would be some like mesh plants. So, you know, it would look better. So that could be our item for today. Maybe. Let's let's put it um no oops i closed my window oops uh that could be one of my items okay let let, let, let put it Uh, then, um, so dense floor, but that's, there's a, a dense floor with the new, um, the new set. The hanging frame would be nice. Yes, this is also what I want, intend to do. But since I, I still don't know which shape, um, I, I can include them. But we have to decide uh, how the design will be. So let's... Um, So we have the choice between this and and this. No, this is not what I want. This. The rectangular. The rectangular what? So we have the wedding arch or we have the boost frame. Uh, so the dancing floor, I still don't know what I'm going to do uh, to. I might do a cut up floor, kind of like I did with my um, spa set, you know, with the pebbles that go like actually inside the floor. So I might do something like this, but I don't know yet. And this will be compatible with the new set. So it's not in my priority right now. Also, uh, the ale, um, there's like a new functionality where you can She's back again and already left. Uh, so there is like a new functionality where you can place a nail and, and your seams will like run down to it. So I might do something with my, like palm leaves maybe on the floor. Um, then I was thinking about doing this a simpler version because I don't want to be too high poly. So probably maybe the pillows will be separated um 
to, to make like a kind of chill area. And some nice table that go with it. So I loved all this item, but that's kind of like out of topic. So that probably for another set. Uh, where is it? I think, yeah. The but I don't like the glass top, so maybe not. I don't know. This, then I have... Um, oh yeah, this one. This one is really nice. Hanging chair is cute. Yes, but that's too long for today. It's already uh, 11 p.m. Um, and I need more time. Um, I need or at least, I don't know, four, four or five hours to do something like that. So not for streams. Um, I'm thinking about doing something more fast. So this one is the third option. All right. So now I'm going to set up the vote. And you will have five minutes to decide. And while you decide, we are going to search for references. Um, just need to remember how to make a poll. I think I need to open directly Twitch. Here and then here, nouveau question. Which item are we going to do, to make? Huh. Uh, so, um, heart, rattan, arch, wedding arch. Or, photo boost frame, frames. Or hanged um, flower bottles. And do I? Hmm. I'm going to add um, uh, bits and, and channel points to, for the votes, uh, if you want. It's definitely not compulsory. You, you don't have to at all. It's just like, uh, I don't know, if just like if you if you want to have a double vote or something. Uh, five minutes. Go. Can I see this in? Yes, here. Uh, I actually have the exact photo frames in my wedding board on Pinterest for me to make CC one day. Which one? Which one, King BC? Um, those are cute plants. We're also cute on a tree. Yeah. Okay. The arch, the, the rattan arch is winning. Uh, let's see if we can find more references. So let's rattan heart maybe. Ooh, that's cute. That's this one is super cute. Uh, hanging picture frames. Well, if and if I'm making it, this this card is cute. You can always make it because, um, like, even if we use the same um, reference picture, the result will always be different anyway. And um, my idea of it is, I I I kind of kept kept the idea of like making both photo booths, but I don't think the style of my photo is actually fitting the boho style. So it's more I don't know like shabby chic or stuff like that. So I'm definitely not going to do it like exactly like that. So go ahead. Don't don't feel like, um, you know, I was there first. Uh, thank you, Bamboo, for your bits. And and showing your love. That's super sweet. Um, I'm going to save that as well. Oh, to share our
adorable. Uh, I'm going to save them just just in case. And Pinterest is such a time loophole, a time hole. I don't know how to say it. It's like I'm I'm spending so much time like getting just like hooked. On Pinterest, uh, you're welcome, lovely CC. Thank you. If I do make it, I won't add the flowers because making flowers still confuses me. Uh, I find it quite frustrating actually to make flowers um, because you either need to measure them to um, make it make them realistic and then it's like really high poly in no time, or you can do like I did uh, for mine. And if you have like transparency, it looks really crispy. I really don't like how the game handles um, like uh, transparency. Like I really think that um, there's so many games. Uh, like I do convert some of my items for uh, House Flipper, for example. So the the convert the the conversion process is um, a bit long because they don't use the same uh, graphic rules at all. So basically Sims uh, has their own format for specular and normal map while uh, House Flipper use Unity. So usually basic PBR material, which is basically the map that you export from Sims Spider right away. So basically everything that you export are like ready uh, for uh, the game. Uh, I didn't know you could get CC for House Flipper. Yes, you do um, with like the Steam Workshop. Um, I have to set the time <laughs> for Pinterest. Uh, me too. I sleep at eleven. Last time I slept at three. Just working on my balls. Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, kind of. Uh, I used to go on Pinterest when I'm. Uh, I go to my therapist. You know, it's like he put me on the bike, and you know, it's like okay, go biking for ten minutes, and I'm and I'm like yeah, Pinterest ten minutes. Yay. So I make boards. Usually, all my ideas come uh, at the therapist. Um, anyway, so there's not much uh, inspiration. This I already have. Uh, I kind of already made the search anyway. Uh, that's the only one I found, but I, I don't know. Is it cute? Maybe. So I could use kind of this like three ring shape and keeping the idea of having, what it is, what is this? Of having like this one, like uh, on the side. Uh, like, yeah. I like this. I like this idea. Um, so the uh, heart wedding is um. Oh no, it's it's over already. Wow, it goes fast. Five minutes. Um, so thank you for those who um, voted, and to never meet you use your point <laughs> the heart um, wedding actually is them so that will be the one we'll be doing um, so first I'm going to um, clone an arch I'm going to clone a base game arch because from what I saw from the new pack um, there's nothing new uh, in the, the new one although did they do are pretty, I think, the new one. I actually um, don't, I'm not sure if I kept it, but when I did my first, yeah, when I did my first board uh, about what I wanted to do for uh, my wedding sets, um, I actually like used that one, kept that ID, and I think it really looked close to that one. Uh, this one is not pretty. This one is nice. This one, I don't like the curtain. It's too smexy smash. So sorry for people who like smexy smash. Uh, I think I like that one very much. I like like the hanging stuff. But for us, we are going to use base, uh, base game one. Base game one, th this one probably. Yes. All right. Um, I'm going to create a new folder because that will be part two.
Yep. Ouch. All right. Um, so Maxis Machis, you are, I just saw your the link that you sent me about making multiple candles and it's actually the tutorial I used to make mine. But it does not solve the fact that um, it doesn't cast light, I think. It does have like the flame, but it doesn't cast light, I think. Uh, because from the moment that you actually change the tuning, you lose the ability to have the turn on and off. I might be wrong. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I should look at it again. So, um, I don't think so, but I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I'm, you, you're kind of making me doubt now. Um, anyway, so archers are pretty simple. They basically just decor because um, you have like three rigs to take care of, which is like the, the bride and groom and the officiant in here. So you kind of place the, the arch uh, however, however you want. Um, I'm just going to, I just, but just out of curiosity, I'm going to clone a one from like the new, the new one, the new, the new, the new, the new sorry, the new DLC, the new pack to see if like it has something that I haven't spotted maybe. But um, I don't think so. Yeah, see, same. So the efficient room, uh, sim one, sim two, and that's it. So you don't have to use uh, wedding story. So ours will be base game. So we're just going to match the decor one and, and that's it. It's super easy. And I always checking if like is there something we can do we we have to do so this is a snow map so we are going to make a snow map as well and that was among my first ideas when I made the boards about a uh, the different theme for the weddings I thought about making like a winter wedding but I finally didn't propose it because I'm tired of winters I really 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 can't stand winter anymore and cold and and I can't stand. Oh, thank you. I couldn't stand the the, the snow uh, in Animal Crossing anymore. Uh, I haven't uh, launched my game since uh, last week, actually. I use it, but I never did multiple candles. Just a single light and cast a very warm light. All right. Maybe I should check it out. Maybe I missed a step. I will. I will check it out again tomorrow tomorrow when I'm, I have to check my my set snow is gone now in NCNH yeah I know but I haven't uh, had the time to play and I kind of like got burnt out I think from Animal Crossing I played too much uh, in, in too short time so I needed like a, a few weeks I can't stand snow area hence moved to Costa Rica that's that's a bit uh, extreme <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, I almost moved to Scandinavian countries because my boyfriend works for a Sweden, Swedish uh, company and he got like a job offer and I was like, no. Yeah, in real life, I was like, there's nowhere. It's like a, I barely survive during winter in France there's no way I can live in a Scandinavian country like the fact that the the days in winter are like way shorter and the fact that the weather is like so cold and uh, I, I think I can't I couldn't I wouldn't couldn't do it 
anyway. Right, so I'm going to export this so I can keep the proportions. <laughs> it's freaking cold, yeah, right? <laughs> well, I'm in the south, so that, that's still fine. The little area was where to go for me. Yeah, now San Francisco is really cold. You know, I just checked and there are not many heart-shaped arches to find. That was surprising. Yeah, I would have thought given the occasion that would be many. Um, yeah, I'm sure not putting my posing through that. <laughs> nope. Nope. Um, anyway, bye-bye. Uh, right, so um, I'm going to use uh, the picture from like the seat as a guide to create, yeah, as a guide to create that shape. But then I think I'm just going to like, um, so I will make like a bamboo uh, as if we could, as if we could, because I don't think we can curve bamboo like this. I think bamboo is like really strong or oh, we would have like gotten it like this when it was green maybe and then dry. I don't know. I'm not an expert in bamboo. But as if we don't we don't care about physics. Uh, we are going to make like bamboo style uh, uh, curved like this. And then we are going like to create some like um, depth and maybe add some like this so here they made like the depth like okay and I'm, I'm really bad at explaining so i'm just draw i would just draw right so my idea very really briefly is like to make a heart right really bad heart <laughs> all right then we are going okay this is too curvy like a heart like this like this right then pretend it's willow and then it can be careful yeah but i want the bamboo um like rings uh, on it on the texture then we are going to put it on the side like this so this actually looks like uh, flat then so this is the the floor uh, instead of having this I'm going to have it, um, <laughs> okay, let's imagine that we have perspective and what is blue is like behind. So this is going to be behind and what is uh, green is even more behind. So this is going to be behind. So that we be like deep instead of being like around. And then we are going to make some um, straws to attach them in here and, and in here and in here and probably in here. So this shape and instead of having outer rings, it will be like in depth and with straw to attach uh, them. All right. Uh, <laughs> yes, you can curve bamboo area. There's a process things you learn in Jenko. <laughs> right. I think it deserves a quick search on Google because I'm, I'm super um, curious. Curve bamboo. Oh, definitely we can. Wow, oh, that's gorgeous. Love it. Wow. Okay, so our project is completely doable. All right. Let's go. So, um, I'm going to put um, the 
screencast key here so you can see um, the shortcuts I'm using. I'm leaving you a quick image in Discord. We did a workshop. These images are fry, but yeah. Okay, let me check it out. Ah, maybe later. Right, so first I'm going to remove all the rigs and lights and cameras because I don't need them. And I go in solid mode. Then in the drop shadow, I'm going to remove everything and I'm going to create a plane and make it super tiny because I actually don't want any drop shadows. Um, that's a choice. You can totally have one, but I don't like it. So I just don't make it. So I just create a tiny rectangle and hide it. Right. Now about the arch. So basically I'm going to mesh my and then I'm going to replace this one. I'm just keeping, keeping, keeping it for now to have the proportion. But basically we can already see that we need at least two tie so the seams can you know be in it without being squeezed and three three tile high is usually um the height you're aiming for because it's the height for short wall so uh, if you want to make like um something in inside and you want it to have like short wall you know we never know then at least um you know, it will fit. So usually I rarely do stuff that goes uh, more than three uh, height. Or if so, I will probably make a different version of it. Anyway, I'm going to hide it for now. And I'm going to import the background image here with my heart so I can use it as a guide um, to create uh, the shape. Ooh, live stream, yay. Uh, so which one is it? This one. There we go. So I don't really care about the size right now. I'm just going to mesh it and then I'm going to um, uh, to like adjust the size and everything right after. So what I'm have to do, it will kind of um, look like the one we did last uh, week. Um, we have two choices to make that. We have either the way I did uh, last week, meaning that I would take like a, um, not a ring, how, how do you call it? It's a, a, like a donut, a torus. So I could make, hi Justin Sima, thank you for joining us. So I could make a torus with a lot of rings and then I could, okay, let me show you. Very, very, very fast, just to show you, because this is not the way I'm going to use because I want to teach you a new technique. So I could do this with like a mm, lot of rings, maybe like this. And then I could like use this and this and I could, you know, um, draw the shape like this. But the problem with that is like we are, we will probably lose uh, some uh, like the, how to say, the, the diameter of our um, tube, we kind of move uh, along the process and this is not wanted. Um, so we have another solution and this one, we this time we are going to use the Bezier curves. Uh, I'm going to drink, sorry, you didn't use the hydrate, but I think I... I took too much. Um, Bezier curl, if you remember math as core, are vectors. If you um comfortable with um, Illustrator, it works the same. If you are not, it can be a bit messy when you start. So you kind of 
have to get the hang of it. But once you understand how it works, um, it's really helpful. Also, if you use a marvelous designer, you also use the vectors. Basically, a heart is symmetrical, so we will do only one half, and and then we and then the other half. So, I'm going to make shift A, shift A, curve, Bezier. What I have is like two points and a direction. These uh, ears are controlling the curve and basically a vector will be a curve that will always go close to this point but never touch it. So you can move those um, two points like this. And then you can move those. So why you aiming is to actually follow the shape and the less point you will add, the more precise it will be because it will only be controlled by uh, points. And also you need to have like um, to space them evenly because after that we are going to uh, create a um, cylinder and we are going to ask the cylinder to follow the curve. So if you have like one which is like super high and the other one is like super short, you will have no rings in here and all the rings in here. Right? So the easiest is actually starting from scratch. So you keep only one point and then it works uh, like extrude. You are going to hit E and it will create a point. A point. Where you put the point is usually something that you acquire uh, after using it. So you kind of know uh, where, where you're supposed to do it and you you kind of learn. Uh, at, at first, it's, um, it's a bit, uh, I don't know, um, approximative, and, and then you get used to it. So you can see that I can move the ears to actually get, get like um, a nice uh, shape in here. And then I'm going to create one more in here and one more in here. So I basically didn't follow my advice that I made before saying that we should space them evenly. So I'm going to move that one. Uh, can't you add thickness to the curve instead of a cylinder? I've never tried that actually. Um, I don't think so. I'm not sure it's supposed to work that way, but maybe you're right. This is actually the way I learned. So... That's interesting technique. I always use a pass instead of basic curve and then use a circle to determine the diameter. Ooh, that's, that's also a solution. Now I can learn how to use the damn handles on the basic curve. Yeah, it really, it, it just needs some practice. And then when you understand how it works, then it goes easier. But at the beginning, it's a bit confusing. I can totally get that, that it's, um, it's weird. But I, I knew how to use Illustrator before doing this, so it kind of uh, became familiar faster, but it's still uh, a bit um, yeah, messy to use. And by the way, it's why I used to do my fences to uh, earn some time, so I don't have to like redo all the curves all the time. Usually I have my busy curl of my fences like for the curve part, and then I've, I, I mesh my straight parts and then I only have to apply them to my curves and I don't have to uh, redo my faces all the time. There we go. 
So here we have uh, less space in here than in here, but that's okay because this part is also more curvy than this one. So this one will need a little bit more um, polygons. Um, just give me one second. Yeah, sorry, I need to s stretch my draw uh, sometimes. And this hurts sometimes because I had a huge surgery and and sometimes my muscle don't don't react normally. Anyway, so okay. This is kind of, if you're perfectionist, you can stay a lot of time on those handles because, you know, it's like, ah, the curve is not perfect. Also, you can hide um, the background to make sure uh, the shape is nice. Oh, she's way too cute. Um, right, so. So you can see this is a bit weird. Um, so I can probably make it smoother like this. Yeah, better. Fine. So now I'm going to create. Um, where am I? Am I? Yes, on top. So here, six ninety. I'm going to create a cylinder and I want it um, let's try six for now and if it's way too high we are going to put it to um, less okay then I'm going to resize it like this and here the point is actually to have enough length to go from top to bottom so you can definitely go too high and you can go too high and then we can like make it smaller if necessary and we 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 will need a lot of uh, rings to actually uh, follow the curve of all the things um hi Florent seraphine thank you for the subscribing on youtube so I'm going to hit Control R to add rings, but here because I, I need like really, really a lot, I'm going to put like maybe 120 or 150. Yeah, that we do for now. Um, right now with this one, we can probably apply a edge split already. Yeah. I'm going to um, love your accent. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I hope I, I actually um, understandable. Kiwi. No. Kiwi. Oh, she's scratching again. She's not supposed to. She's too cute. I can't really stay angry at her. It's like watching me with big black eyes. It's like, okay, fine. So you will need to add a modifier that is named curve. Easy. Now, um, what is going to follow is really messy because I never understand how it works. So I will need some time to like adjust stuff. So basically in the object, I'm going to select my basic curve. And this is where the fern starts or not. So usually uh, I'm supposed to find the right um, curve where it's supposed to apply the transformation. And then I need to adjust this. So it fits uh, my shape. So 
so it's kind of uh, it's a bit of guessing and so y is here if i go gx it goes up and down so that's okay and you're awesome yes i understand you perfectly thank you for your great for thank you so much and I guess it's like Z. Okay, so here Z will be just uh, how far it goes. So I'm probably going to like put it on the uh, beginning of here, and then everything that go uh, above there, I'm going to delete it. And that's it. Uh, it followed perfectly uh, our shape. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this, and then I'm going to cut uh, whatever go uh, too far and i'm going to remove some edge loop that i don't need because i don't need that much precision and my back is killing me um in blender 3 there is a follow path thing i guess oh might be i'm, I'm pretty sure this tool because it's really a lot uh used so i'm pretty sure this got better with the the newest version um also before um, before going uh, before applying, I'm going to make it a bit thinner, like this. So I'm applying my curve here. Um, I'm going to remove whatever go too far, which is here, here. Delete. No, maybe. this I delete and and this is fine okay and what else so here I can close with F now I'm going to use the super 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 tip that Maxis Match CC Watch gave me last time that I couldn't make work and now I've learned how to do it and now I'm using it all the time so thank you so much uh, again Maxis Max CC Watch because this is awesome now watch basically what I want is to delete one over two ring lips so instead of like nye, 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 like I used to do before because I was like so lame you can actually use alt control click on the ring and then you have select checker deselect and you can see that it have deselect one over two rings and then you go in select edge loops and you have one over two edge loop selected it's completely magic it will save you hundreds of hours i feel like i lost so much time in my life um, especially when i was like importing stuff from um Marvelous designer, you know, you, you do like a, a super wrinkled blanket, but it has too many polygons and you just reduce the polygons and you just go one by one. And with this, you don't have to delete edge loop. And we are from 1300 to 600. So half of it, obviously we cut half of them. So half of it. Awesome. So I don't need this anymore, the basic curve. So bye. Um, so what I'm going to do now is duplicate that one and control MX to uh, mirror it on the other side. Don't forget to flip no more because every time you mirror, mirror something, it will uh, get flipped. And then I'm just going to manually attach them like this. So we could suppose, um, I am showing you also my path technique. I think you will love it as well. Yes, all, all new techniques are always welcome. Um, I think it could be like this, like it could be attached. What happens?
What's happening? Why? Why? It, what? It, why? Why? I can't be bo. That's weird. Yeah. All right. So when something weird happen happens, usually I just go in object mode and hit apply to so control A rotation and scale and usually it fixes it. I don't know why exactly what's happening, but yeah. So we will add some uh, detail in here to show that this is like attached to each other. Now, um, what I could do is uh, simulate the fact that this is some bamboo. In here. And same on top with some sharp. In here and 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 sharp yes and extrude and extrude now i'm going to unwrap this here here mark scenes and i'm going to select them this and hide them. Why? Because now I can select uh, the edge loop without selecting them. So I'm basically just cutting them like this. And then when I bring them back and, and unwrap, it will be unwrapped properly. And that's because now I want to um, unwrap them, uh, sorry, uh, duplicate them. So we said we wanted something below three uh, tile height. So I'm probably go something like this. Yeah. So shift D to duplicate. Like this and shift D to duplicate like this. Right. So now if we want something a little bit more um, organic, Obviously, in real life, those will never be exactly the same. So what I would do is I would um, just very, very, very slightly uh, move them. So they are not perfectly aligned. So I'm using the proportional editing here with connected and with a very, very large um, area. So it doesn't create some bump or anything that will look too harsh. And then I'm just moving a few points just slightly uh, so it doesn't look too perfect. Because even if you use a guide in real life to actually curve your bamboo, which is I suppose how you do, it will never be the exact, exact uh, same. Same. Please don't let this being that curvy at all. Hmm. I think I'm just going to delete that one. It looks weird. Yeah. So here I'm going to remove some edge loop because there's some nope, edge loop because there's some curvy bump and actually we don't need it because it's almost straight. 
Hey everyone, sorry I'm late. What are you making? Sing hi Alicia, thank you for joining us. We are making um, wedding arch. So we kind of mixing this uh, supposed to be a chair. So this shape uh, with the idea of this uh, one and we will have some straw attaching them. Uh, so it's very, very basic. Um, this is the drawing, very clear drawing. Uh, there we go. Right. Um, so this there. And then the third one. So now I'm just slightly moving some um, some portion of the of the mesh that I duplicated to make it look not too perfect. Because if it's like too much line, then it's um, a bit weird. Pretty, I like it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, right. Uh, maybe, maybe a bit more in here. Okay, and a bit more in here. Okay. Uh, now. We have 4,000, which is way too much. So we are going to remove manually this time some ridge, uh, some ring leaves. That probably something we should have done before, but that's fine. Um, basically, everything that's straight, so those main uh, thing, can be much lower without losing any detail. So I'm going to like remove one of the two like this and maybe one in here uh, damn it. Uh, you see this stuff are too amazing thank you so much All right, so this I can already delete. So you can see that we barely uh, change the shape of our uh, item, but we lose of almost half um, one. So that's good. I'm going to remove this. And no, this one I'm going to keep. This I can lose. Um, it's fine if we actually, because we are using two ties and even more, so we could go to for uh, 4,000, that would still be okay for, I, for our item. But the ring I'm removing right now are not giving any um, added uh, precision. They're kind of really useless, so we're not losing detail. So it will actually make the CC better, better because uh, we're not losing detail for nothing, right? Um, mm, so now I was thinking, so we should probably add some stray, some, no, is it stray? Is it straw, 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 to attach them? I think it could add some nice uh, detail um but here i'm going to use the texture so basically i'm just going to use a cylinder and then we are going to texture it um here um so what i'm going to do because i'm always super lazy i'm going to duplicate that one make it so I'm going to remove the uh, portion of editing. So scale it uh, uh, while keeping the height. So um, also I need median point. So S shift Z, I will scale it while keeping the height uh, to make it um, larger, but same height. Then I'm going to create some bevel in here slightly. And I'm going to select this thing and stretch it. 
I was thinking how are you going to UV unwrap the things? Well, basically I already did is um, I separate the bottom and top and one line along the thing and that's it. And you, you have an unwrap, perfect. Um, so here, because I moved, I just need to adjust this, this. and this all right so maybe we make this a bit taller All right. Hi, Captain. Salut, Erwan. Uh, all right. So then uh, this one I can uh, directly select and duplicate um, to uh, our shape um, above. But it will be a slightly different because this one is like a bit curved. So we might need to add some rings and actually curve it. So I'm going to see if I can do it right away. Or if I probably um, be doing it from scratch, let's let's see. So basically, I want to um, like follow the the shape of the curve from here and from here as well, and then everything else probably need to be adjusted by hand. It will be always better um, again to have this organic figure. Uh, whatever you do by hand is always uh, nicer. So I'm just going to take those uh, vertices in here and and removing this like this. There. So whatever disappears, nice. If you scroll out and you still see this, but then you scroll in and it's fine, then you're fine. Like it won't poke out usually. The only reason why you might poke out is um, if you like put them in triangles because putting them in triangle will actually flatten them. So then it could uh, poke out here. It's, it's a bit, a bit close. So sometimes having a little bit of freedom is nicer. All right, and then that one is poking out as well. Not sure I have selected the right one. Oh yeah, I did. No, bye bye. Okay, last one. And probably that one too. And that side as well. Just a little bit. All right. So here we have, uh, we are going to create our unwrap uh, from here, Maxims. And now I'm going to duplicate those. I think I said I wanted um, like some attachment in here, but that's fine where I put it, I think. Um, so uh, shift D to shift D, no, shift D, yes, to duplicate and then control M X to invert uh, on the X mirror. And as you can see, the normal are uh, inverted. So click flip direction to, well, revert them. And then we just need to uh, reposition them uh, where they're supposed to be. So basically the curved one is uh, probably around here 
and this one here. So it's easier to place them like one by one. You don't need to place them both. And uh, we're probably going to a something like this and it probably won't fit exactly because when we move the rings al uh, around um, same it was uh, you know manual so um, it probably be a bit different so here we are going to need a bit of adjustment um, but I can see already that this is way too low or not I don't know maybe not how do you see where to add the seams so fast you mean like when when i put um my seams line in here is that your question um when i'm choosing where, where to put my seams to unwrap Here the bottom is also not large enough. Yes, I never see where to put it. Well, um, there's two things to consider when you're choosing um, where to put your lines. The first one is like you want to put them at the place that it will be less seeable possible so usually uh, as you can see this is the front so all my seams line are kind of in the back you know kind of like the the sewing line of like your jumper or or you can even imagine like a, a stuffed bear and the the seam line are usually hidden like behind the head and stuff like that so that's the first thing the second thing is also you have to project about how uh, will be the UV map. So because I'm doing cylinders, basically all those shapes are cylinder, I want to have like a perfect rectangle. So if I put at the end, uh, like only one, um, actually those, all those seems like are wrong. So I'm going to redo them. Um, if I cut this cylinder in one time I will have like when I will like put it um, flat I will have like one ring tango so when I have like cylinder like this usually just one so at the back is enough I'll show you why just after that just after I finish adjusting this So here, for example, because this one is a bit um, displaced compared to the other, I can add a ring to it and add it. It will create a nice shape that will actually kind of look like this one is like poking out a bit. Uh, this looks amazing so far. Thank you, Justin. And basically stuff is that the more you do it, the more you know. Um, when I started, I had no idea uh, how to do it. So I was always going back and forth. And sometimes I even like reopen all CC because I sometimes store myself. Like uh, I want to make something. Oh, I already did that in that object. So I open this object and I bring him back. Uh, to my new object and sometimes I open some very old stuff and I'm like <laughs> so I'm ashamed uh, of myself of like me two years ago so that's completely fine to be um, well first lost uh, you know we we all learning all the time um, 
we always uh, try to improve ourselves and, and try new stuff. So it's okay to make mistakes. And also uh, we evolve and I used to do some stuff before that I don't do now. And I wouldn't learn about it if I didn't do it in the first place. So we have to be kind with ourselves and, you know, allow us to uh, experiment and make mistakes and, and etc. So no one is perfect and there is no one technique or one way to do something. There's also several ways we can see in this chat that some people sometimes are suggesting other ways. And uh, it doesn't mean it's wrong and that I'm wrong or they are wrong. They are just like many way uh, to finish the race if it's it's not even a race so that's that's a pretty much but anyway you you understand my point i think that um this is something i actually asked um uh to little dika i don't know if you know the creator uh, little dika he's really really good uh, as well but it's uh, actually his job or more likely uh, he was a student um, of uh, 3d so uh, because he used to come to my uh, live stream when i started uh, after we were offline i was like what what do you think of my technique like is it is it close to what you are uh, taught at school because i'm completely self-taught so sometimes i'm doubting myself like uh, am i doing it right uh, because okay the result is right but like is, is it is this how we are supposed to make stuff and he says like there's no one way it's like everyone has their own technique and never let anyone telling you that what you're doing is wrong and if the result suits you then it suits you and that's it and you don't have to uh, be like everyone else and so yeah, just just find your way, and if you like what you do, then then you're good. Obviously, if it's if it's your job, you kind of need to adjust to what other people do. But from my experience, if you do what you like, people will like it, usually. Often, very often. So here, I'm going to add some rings to have this. better right so um did i did i put some i thought i did let me try again so i'm going to um hide this so i can see better and i didn't so here 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 and here maxim thank you all right. A single journey can have many paths to reach the destination. Yeah, that should be our meditation sentence. Mm. And yes, Alec is amazing. Um, okay, so I think we are done. We are can now go to the texture part. So I'm going to unwrap. So I select everything. First, I'm going to apply rotation and scale and hit now, what we can see is that we have some, some rectangles that are not on the same direction, but uh, I want all my um, rectangle of my cylinder to be on the same direction because then I will apply some bamboo texture to it. So it's better if they are all aligned. Also, you can see that they are not completely straight. So that comes from the fact that I actually unwrap the angle base. I'm pretty sure if I use conformer, it will be better, but it is not. So I'm just talking nonsense. So don't listen to me. Oh, you should because it's my Twitch stream, but you know. Uh, so we are going to use my plugin, Snap to Axis. I'm going to select here. And you know, sometimes it just works nice because sometimes it doesn't and it makes like some weird stuff. I want to teach it myself too and I'm learning a lot from you and Ravishin, that's nice. Here, AR90. 
snap and snap and snap i'm doing it one by one because i noticed that if i select everything and put snatch it's more likely to go crazy so usually doing it one by one is um, better making sure that it doesn't go too crazy and this one as well i want it align so snap and snap and snap and snap that's it so now i select everything Control p to reorganize but i have to uh, uncheck rotate so you, uh, or else it just like destroy all our work and i need margin and now we can see that I'm using half the space of my UV map, which is kind of a waste uh, because we are supposed to put some uh, texture that are like 1000 to 1000 or we could use like half of it. So I could use 500. Okay, uh, let me write it. Is it so I can use 512 um, by 124 and it will uh, weight half the size and, and still get so how do I do that I'm going to put my cursor here to 3d cursor so on the bottom left and then I'm going to hit s x which is the size 2 and that means um, everything that I will do will be like um, multiply by two and then I can stretch it back uh, after I do my uh, texture on substance painter. I could also do SX and more until it actually reach the end of it. And that's something I'm probably going to write down because I'm probably going to use that scale in my Substance Painter texture. So all my Substance Painter texture, instead of having the proportion one by one, two by two, I'm going to have one by 2.4, like this. Right, I hope it makes sense. Now I'm saving my arch. Um, I'm going to delete that one, which is the old one. And I'm going to give it the mesh cut one and save. I also going to export this in OBG selection only right material export BG. Now, uh, for those who have followed me on my previous uh, streams, Substance Painter is um, very badly uh, written and it often um, shut down when uh, the memory becomes too overwhelming. So I apologize in advance if this happens. If it happens, you just need to wait a few minutes for me to restart my system and, and refresh uh, the Twitch live and I'll be back right away. Um, this is not something that happens when I'm not on stream. It's just something that is not compatible with, um, I don't know, the memory resources that they are sharing between the like streaming software and, and my uh, Substance software. So I do have a ut utility software that kind of helps me. Like this, that kind of cleaning my memory. I also try to uh, close anything that I don't need, but basically the only problem is from Substance Painter. So I, I won't go uh, really, really deep in like making my, I will explain everything, but I won't like do all the swatches and everything because it just got overwhelmed too fast. And I do have like a rocket science computer, so definitely Substance Painter. Uh, do you look at, uh, no. Damn it. It's like on the day I don't have anything to moderate. Okay, let me take five minutes to put it back. Um, okay, 
Okay. Bye bye. There. New. Select. Uh, no, it's the new part two. Arch here. Okay. So, um, before starting, we are going to uh, calculate our mesh maps. So usually I calculate it in 4,000. I'm going to I'm going to do it in 2K so it doesn't, uh, you know, make explosion. And screw <laughs> them. So sorry about that. Yeah, it's just like, okay, <laughs> go to bed. You too. You too small. It's late. So you can see already that um, I do have some um, meshes poking out. So we are going to fix that before going further. Uh, here is fine. We can definitely um, see it here. Hi, Mendy Sam, welcome in. So you can see it uh, usually very well with the big mesh maps. So I'm just going back to my file. What are you making? I'm making a wedding arch. So it's supposed to be rattan um, and bam like curved, curved bamboo. So here's a perfect example. Um, for me, it doesn't poke out, but actually it's because the quad is like pretty deformed. I'm pretty sure if I go uh, with um, triangle, it's actually poke out more like this. So I'm just going to just slightly that should be fine so i'm just re-exporting it in obg and here so basically mandy we are like doing kind of a mix between this shape and this um shape kind of and the concept is that uh, the arch is like um on the floor like this and people we get married in front of it Enough. Right, um, so I'm just going to project configuration and import my new A arch and then I'm going to, oh I forgot to untoggle the stuff, the stuff, this stuff, selection only and don't write material. Um, boo -boo -boo. Then I'm going to create new one, it will be better. Because we will have to bake mesh maps anyway. Again, 2K. Bam. Hi, Afonia Tarabukin. Thank you uh, for joining us. Welcome. Here. No more poking out. Right. Next thing I'm going to change is, yeah, is the light. So right now it's a panorama. So usually I use either this one studio white stuffed or i use the contrasted one which is a custom one i made um you model yes i am i'm making things for custom content hopefully they will get the winning part working soon i'm really hoping so i'm really hoping so it's right now it's so disappointing um okay so i usually i have I'm supposed to have, no, I don't have it anymore, some bamboo. No, I think I removed it from my library, so I'm going to look it back for it. It's, um, where is it? Bamboo, 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 no, flower, debris, organic maybe, bamboo. Import. So this one is really nice because it already has the ring of the bamboo. Um, so we probably need to adjust some colors and some um, scale. Um, but it does work pretty well on its own. Although I'm not a big fan of the green one, I still make it available. I usually like the edged one better 
but we are going to come back to it after that. Um, I'm going to keep the green for now. I'm going to uh, lower the scale and probably even more than that. I can still change the ring later. Also, 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 yeah, both. You can see that I'm using the um, UV projection, meaning that the texture is applied on the UV map in here. So if I don't want all those um, rings to be exactly on the same sign, size, on the same, uh, not a line, is it from the marker place? Yes, it's, it's directly from the, the source, um, the, the source, uh, substance painter library. You know, the one that you can have like a 30 per month. Uh, that is the asset I was talking about that I want. Well, if you have substance painter, you can get it. Just go to, uh, I don't think I have it. So you just go in the substance source library and you have it. And hi diamonds forever. Thank you for the follow. So that's, that's the one. And I also have that one that I use all the time. So this one is awesome as well. Um, there you go. So I'm going to apply a black mask and I'm going to select my three one because this one will have another one so what i was saying is like um, i'm using the uv projection um, techniques which means that we have basically the texture on our uv map and depending on where our uv are it will um, apply the texture so if you don't want to have all the rings aligned, I recommend to actually move them so they are not completely the same. So I'm going to like change this a little bit so that um, they are not all the same. Like this. Export OBG. Tac, tac, tac. So now if I project configuration and replace with the new one and I need to recalculate my big mesh map because it will have the shadows not at the same place. You can see that well, it's still pretty much close but not completely aligned. Which are there actually? I kind I probably can. Okay, that's the one. That's why. At least here they are not, so maybe I can move that one then. Maybe I can cheat a little and SY to shrink it a bit. Like this. It's like very, very small, but you will see that it will move the rings um, in here. See? Better. need to recalculate my uh, shadows um, you could also try and flip them yeah yeah but um, the how to say the texture is like seamless from top to bottom so even if I flip them uh, if this one is like from top to bottom it will be the same so it's 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 more about like just hmm. I don't know if like <laughs> sometimes I'm I'm missing the words to explain it like how is actually it in my head <laughs> and you don't want to be in my head it's this lot of, lot of things happening right so the straws um, here we have uh, different solutions. So I'm going to try and then we are going to choose which one is best. I will not change the color of the bamboo um, because this is how I actually 
um, uh, make uh, the, the stream crash. Um, no, no, don't worry. Um, but uh, we can we can definitely change all the colors and how to make it look um, more age. And we can also change the amount of segment we have here. Uh, we can remove the scratches and everything, but all, this is a complicated uh, material. And this is uh, when usually um, the stream crashes, when I try moving this. Um, well, we can see here, like the cache, this is already at uh, 65. Um, anyway, so there's a lot of possibility with this smart material. It's not a smart material, it's a base material, but it's like a very um, precise one. Uh, so we could definitely use this to improve. Um, damn it, I closed my. Ah, okay, hang on. I closed the YouTube chat, so I don't see anymore what YouTube people are saying. Oops, sorry, YouTube people. Um, let me pop out the chat. There you go. Yeah. Um, but that's definitely something that you can try and, and make it better. That's something I will do out of string because I'm, I'm kind of traumatized of having my stream uh, shut down. Now, about the straw. So I have two types of rope. I have one that is very stylized and I have one that is more alpha looking. But there's also something that we can try uh, by hand. And by that I would um, mean. So I made my own rattan material here using a, a map that um, I like that one, for example. Let's let's take just that one. And I'm going to add U and basically U4. So it's it's just a bamboo straight material, right? Uh, what I want to add is some stripes. So what I will do is I'm going to uh, create a fill layer and I'm going to keep only the height. And then in here, I'm going to look for stripes. This one here. And I'm going to put it in the weight, height, sorry, not weight, height. Here I'm going to um, change the orientation of the shift. And I will copy the mask I've used on my rattan, impregnated right rattan by hitting Ctrl Alt C and copying it in here. So I have only it in here. Now I'm going to. Where is it? No, I deleted it by doing that. Sorry. Mm, no. Okay. Let me let me go back a little. So, I will put my height in here, uh, on up, and then I will put a black mask, and on this black mask I will put a fill layer, and this is where I will put the stripe. Why I am doing that? I could have done the other one, the other way around. But then in here, that means that I can choose uh, how much is the height right away. If I was doing the other way, I wouldn't have used the level one, which is more complicated to use, while this one is like one cursor. So I recommend when possible doing that. And now I just need to add a paint layer so I can actually remove the other one. So I only have that one. Um, Included. So back in my stripes, I'm going to change the shift. And here I'm going to add a lot of stripes. And here I'm going to um, add even more stripes like this until I have something that I like. And here you can see that this is too strong for me. And you can probably see even better by 
going into the normal weight so actually i will go back to my bamboo and i will uh, lower the height because that was way too much and here you can adjust uh, accordingly the height until it become it becomes just enough of the effect you want this is how you create your own um, material so back in my material here you can decide that it's enough or you can maybe say mm, we don't see it, see it enough in that way i can add a color color here have a slight beige and use it in multiply so now it will be more more um one other thing that we could choose maybe to have the the stripes of the texture um, on the other side so that would probably match better our texture like this saving that could you know be useful in case of lovely thank you um ouch oops ouch here um so that's our option one i'm going to create a folder Here. Option two, we have the. No, I need to find it. It's not that one. Is it the bamboo? Well, yeah, this one. So this one I like to use also. Um, if we do get rid of this. So basically, we need to um, like make it um, this side, and we probably need to make it more like this. We probably need to lower the height and normal intensity. It's always way too much um, on Substance Painter than what we want uh, from um, the game. Then the knot, we want um, less of it. Blind roundness, we want it very round. And black tiles, okay. Do we have something about the wire? No, we don't. Oh, we could keep them. They're actually quite nice. So um, we probably need to uh, copy the um, same mask from the uh, try before. In here um, I never had SP crash on me but then I don't stream does it create a recovery if I just wondering nope I never had uh, SP crash uh, either um, when I'm not streaming it doesn't crash it's really on un 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 and actually the stream crash not substance painter like when I'm losing you it's the it's um, OBS that crashes it's not um, SP um, hello, I love to watch you uh, make you awesome creation, even though I have no idea what you are doing. Hi, Beth. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I'm doing a wedding ouch. So um, all my new wedding uh, sets is like all in rattan and wicker stuff uh, to go with the boho style. So I'm doing like a bamboo heart shape uh, wedding ouch. So people are supposed to get married in front of it. Um, there we go. So we probably need more stripes on that. Uh, so because I'm already on top of here, I can probably just double this number. And I think I like that one pretty much because I think that these details of the, the binding knots, it's actually quite nice. We probably want them like uh, something else, somewhere else. So that's pretty nice. Now um, I probably need to change the color, but I'm too scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, okay, um. okay. That's fine. That's fine. Sorry, sorry to bother you. Awesome. Thank you. Um, so that that will do for our demonstration today. But uh, when I be off stream, I will make more 
swatches and I will probably make like a, a light bamboo, dry bamboo and, and more brown and kind of like the, 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 the tone I usually use with bamboo anyway. Uh, so here we go. So um, we can always try to add some um, shadows and light. And for this one, I'm actually using the cavities as well because I want all these um, like holes to be darker, dark, darker. Oh, and, and I'm, I'm picking up the German <laughs> accent now, darker, uh, light. Yeah, so I have my own smart material. And so it does apply right away. So you can see it does uh, apply nothing almost. So it's it's barely it's barely seeable, so we probably not going to use it. But I'm going to keep it to actually replace the mask by the smart mask that it's called cavities dot cavities yes here and you can see that it adds some dark in like everything that it's um, holes <laughs> cavities I guess all right and the light um, it probably the light with the curvature won't work really well on this mesh because it's very round and usually it doesn't work that well with like round shape. It really works well with objects that have edges because you know it's a edge curvature. So if I like turning on and off, it's like doesn't change a thing. So pro probably this uh, is not useful for this one. All right, so when I'm done with the, um, the texture, I'm going to export it. So Control Shift E. I'm first going to change the path of my item, boho wing part, okay. And I'm keeping that, but I will export only the normal and the roughness here. Then I'm going to global settings and this time I'm going to export the 2D view, export. Then I'm going to save and close because Sims doesn't like Simpsons Painter as well. Actually, I'm going to save that one. I'm going to make the shadow, no, the shadow load by removing the shadow load and putting this one to zero. Save as shadow. We could do right away the um, medium load by erasing one over two. Uh, do you actually draw the heart? I actually used um, this as a reference. So we drew with a Bezier curve line, the outer shape, and then we made a cylinder that followed this, li this line. Uh, yeah, I was going to say we are going to remove one um, over two, so I'm going to use the technique from Maxis Match CC World by select checker deselect and then edge ring, no, and then edge loops. But I will have to keep those one because I don't want to lose the detail of those one. I actually want to remove only where I didn't remove any uh, before. So I'm just going to deselect this one. Edge loop. And usually when I do that, so I don't, um, oops, I probably did something wrong, which is probably select the end. So you shouldn't ever delete an edge loop that is a seam line. So yeah, edge loop, yeah. You can rewatch the stream on Sims YouTube channel after the stream ends. Thank you so much for the information. Uh, so usually what I do um, to not lose the way I'm at is that once I'm done um, deleting the edge loop, I just hide it. So little by little, then I just have anything that remains to be done. So select, check deselect edge loops, and then 
I remove this one and this one. Delete edge loop and all fine. Hide. And here, select, check a deselect, select edge loop and not you and also not you and not you edge loop that's so much so much time saving much as much as you will you are saving me uh, time i owe you honestly it's also very satisfying i think She has also simple project like a table. Uh, if you want to watch, yes, if you want to start small, I have smaller things, easier things, and more faster things to do as well. Well, we are uh, two hours, so that's still fine. Um, so let's click on, okay, let's hide this and control alt, select, check and deselect select edge loops and no not bye bye too soon i'm going to not the end and not the beginning there we go edge loop two more and then we are done uh, so alt control right click select check and select select edge loops and no I really want to delete all the edge loops, but there we go. And the last one, Control Alt, select, check and select, select edge loops, and we remove top and bottom, and we are done. So we are now at 2000. That's okay. That's fine. File save as that will be arch medium. And I remove the zero and that will be save as medium shadow. Okay. And do we have a low? Because I could do, yeah, I could do a low. So for the low one, which is the one that will be very far, I will simply, so I have to bring back everything. I will simply um, put my three, my six cylinder shape to three. So I'm going to select one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I have to be careful to avoid the seam line. One, two, three, and same with the other side. Uh, probably easier where I can see it. Okay, let's do it. This one first. Edge loop. Then I hide it. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Day. And one. No, not you. One, two, three. And edge loop. Now, because I like make it smaller, I can probably. Um, uh, no, that will be fine. Okay. Uh, save as arch medium low and remove drop shadow and save as arch low shadow. Um, I will have to check it out. Uh, I really would like to make mail CC because it's so hard to find. I try making clothes in my first designer, but give up when they all fall down. Yeah, my first designer is a bit complicated to handle, but everything um, is learnable. And um, I know there's some creators that made some video tutorial about my first designer and clothes uh, in general. So I'm sure you should find some tutorial, but I do not do clothes, unfortunately. So there's nothing I can teach you about that. And it's actually quite different 
uh, there is a huge step um, that is not part of the CC making, which is the weight transfer. So weight is like what we uh, say the game, what we be stretchable and why should uh, like stay in place. Um, you know, like uh, if you have like a dress and you're simply walking, when she spread her leg, the dress should follow her legs and take her left, um, stuff like that. Sorry, I have something in my eyes. I think. And also, you know, for the airs not to clip into the, the clothes and everything. So, uh, clothes are much harder to do than objects. Yes, um, I have some tutorial on my black. Um, same name like here. Yeah, clothes are really hard. They don't have any special stuff that we have, like for objects that are really hard because we just don't have the software to do it. Like for example, the, the stairs. The stairs are hard, but half of the part of what is making them hard is because we don't have the software to making them. So we have to do them manually and code everything manually and make the package from scratch manually. That's what's making it hard. If uh, Sims 4 Studio was actually able to uh, handle um, stairs, they will still be hard because they have some vertex pens and everything, but that's like, honestly, that's the minute of the process. That's that's something that you need to learn and, and it's a bit complicated at first to understand like the logic of it. Once you cut it, it's simple. It's just actually making the package. Same with like any build that game that is really hard to make, like all the platforms and and freeze and um, the trims and everything that we are very few to do because it's so annoying. People is like, oh, I want you to make more prints. Yeah. I know. <laughs> it takes me three days to make one, so um, I can make sometimes five objects a day. If if you like, I'm in a good mood and I have a good movie on my second uh, second screen. I can make like up to five items in a day. So, yeah, three days in a good mood. I, I never do uh, three days in a good mood. Like usually, good mood are rare. But let's say usually my um medium production would be two to maybe two or three objects a day um and one phrase is three three th three days so yeah and very uh, annoying and you have to be very focused and and if something goes wrong you don't know why and yeah so build item i like i sometimes do but not always, and I need pauses between them. Right, so replacing. So here, the medium, the low, the high, the medium again, and the low. All right, we need to resize and set our images. So this I just resize with my shotgun. Uh, for the roughness, I'm going to invert, then transform the mold uh, from gray to RVB. Uh, this is all rattan, so rattan is usually a little bit glossy. So I will go for something like this blue and fill it and multiply and merge it and select and go in my layer and paste and here I will just accentuate the contrast and resize it to 1k in here and uh, this I will just put in normal all the steps are explained in my normal video tutorial. I have my shortcut on Photoshop so I don't have to do it again all over again because it is all I do all day. So uh, if you want to learn the process, I recommend this video. It explains all the steps very clearly. Now, replacing the texture. This is my favorite part when you replace the texture and everything like fits. Love it. Uh, name is Sib. Boho Wedding Wedding Arch. I have the text um, 
in here that I usually copy. I'm going to put um, a low price because you know it's still just just bamboo. Um, I'm going to do all the swatches tomorrow. And this is green and light brown. And does it have the venue? Yes, perfect. Oh, I forgot about the snow map. We are going to do the snow map. So here I replace the normal map. I replace the roughness map. I also will check if there is any occluders and they are. So I'm going to destroy them because they are not pretty. So about the normal map. Um, I'm going to remove everything. I actually can keep this one because it will add actually also that one. It will add some normal maybe. So here I'm going to create a black, completely black and a completely white. And on the completely white, I'm going to add a generator and this one I'm going to put it on position. Basically from top to bottom, it will add a position. So this is where um, the um, snow could be. There's another thing um, that I so, and it's in here, and I think it's like sand. What is it? I think that's that one. Dust. So it's not dirt, it's dust. So basically everything that's on top. So I'm just creating a black mask and putting it on it. And it doesn't work really well. What was the one? I saw, or is it that one maybe? Let me try again. Mm, not really convinced. Ground dirt. Moss from top. That should probably do it better. Moss from top. Yes, that's much better. So this one is really nice. Um, because I can probably adjust the opposite yes so that looks more realistic I think so this is how much from top to bottom you can adjust so I'm probably just putting like around here and that's it so basically everything we have here uh, is on here and you need to export not to the view but the base color so base color will have no influence from the light of our um, setting so it will basically have um, oops, only the black and white so now I'm just going to resize it to 1K and I can use it exactly like that in PNG in here. There. And I think we are all set. So I can save it. And I'm going to test it in game. And if it works, you can throw me some confetti and I can go to bed. Let's go. There we go. Uh, you could add love in simplish as an Easter egg uh, uh, to the snow mask, but then I hopelessly saw my things so you, not everyone. Yeah, 
I actually wanted to um, put it on my tables as an Easter egg. Like, I love you. But I think it's too thin. Like, I was kind of disappointed. You know, I, I did the um, bird front print on my barbecue uh, snow map. And when I saw the result, okay, if you, if you know it's here, you can see it, but I, I'm pretty sure no one noticed it. It's so, so subtle. And thank you for um, what, what you showed me. I actually kind of look the same uh, of my techniques. So yeah, I need to I need to check it more more in depth because that looks really interesting to do. Oh and thank you also Rhonda for all the major bumper curves. Yeah, that's why I typed on on Google. It's impressive. I think you would be faster with the pass. Oh, really? No, I would definitely check it out. Thank you, uh, Oscar, for your generosity. Um, fucking Basie, that's really nice of you. I want to show you Peewee, but she's sleeping. I don't want to wake her up. She's too cute. She's way too cute. She's like her paw like this. <laughs> It's so slow. It's it's actually it's that slow right after um Simpsons Painter. It's definitely something about the memory. Maybe I should have uh, cleared it out before launching it. All right. We go. Pew is the cutest, yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is the moment of truth. Boho. There we go. So at least it looks good. There we go. So one thing I didn't uh, change is the, um, the rig lots, uh, the rigs, meaning that where I place them, you 
probably that the officiant will be like in it. So I should either move this uh, on, on the front or I can um, probably move uh, my mesh. So I will probably move the mesh because we never know uh, when this is like... <laughs> Yay! Confetti! Confetti time! <laughs> Uh, so I will probably move uh, my mesh because we never know sometimes the... <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, you never know sometimes the rigs are attached to animation and everything, so it's always um, risky. Uh, but we can see it works perfectly. Also, we were lucky because I didn't check if we had some... Um, double sides and because we kind of see through this we couldn't have uh, we could have to like check it but I think because the original have some flowers uh, it already was double sided so that's that's good for us so that's that's super pretty looks great thank you so there we go, um, another CC for the history. Um, I hope that you learned some stuff. I did, um, or I think I think I, I will, um, comparing to what Max Mismatch uh, have sent me. Uh, it's also actually really good to stream stuff because um, since I uh, creating uh, since I started creating, I usually watch a lot of tutorial when I started. Uh, every time I was adding a new item, I was watching like something specifically to what I was doing. And after I got comfortable with Blender, I stopped it. So I think I kind of stopped learning new stuff because I feel comfortable making anything, almost anything. Like sometimes I still watch one. So the fact that you are actually uh, giving me those tips um, is helping me um, learn more and remind me that, you know, the the lear learning curve is never over. So I should definitely continue to watch more tutorial. Um, so thank you everyone uh, for being here with me tonight, for uh, being so nice and gifting so many subscriptions tonight. I feel completely blessed to have you all uh, being so enthusiastic about my CC and about the creation process. Um, I can't wait to release my um, set tomorrow. I still need to check it because I've seen uh, when I was doing some scripture, I've seen many, many mistakes. It's small mistakes, but still. Um, and fortunately, Ravishin will um, update the cake box and um, probably make my own one day if she teaches me. Um, Thank you everyone, thank you uh, particularly Maxis Massissi for helping me uh, animate this and, and helping and being so helpful and nice. And have a good night or a good day depending on where we are. And see you next week. Next week I will probably have this set either finished or I will be almost finishing it. So maybe next item from next week will also be for the wedding, something that I still haven't done yet. Bye-bye. Thank you again and see you later. Bye.